exactly what they've been doing. The whole welfare system is designed to replace the black man with the system as the black woman's husband. So the man ain't there, but the judge is your husband. The social worker is your husband. The man who gives out the, the welfare check, he's your husband. The man who gives you the uh, Section 8 housing, he's your husband. So what they've done in America is they've created a situation where the black woman doesn't need the black man for nothing. Even if she wants your money, she doesn't have to ask you. She can go and have the white man dig in your pockets and take it for her. So you got this relationship between the black man and the black woman where if the sister is not careful, she can be manipulated into being used as a secret weapon of oppression against her own man. We are the only men whose women do not have to come and consult with us before they do anything else. This is a direct outgrowth of slavery and it was engineered. That's why in America, black women make more money than black men. That's not true for no other group. Black women have more education than black men. That's not true for any other group. We're not faulting our sisters or knocking them in no way. And I want my sisters to understand that. We're just analyzing this system, this structure that's been created that empowers the sister, disempowers the man, and now convinces her that he's worthless and she don't need him and she'd be better off without him. The sisters have to understand that what's being done to black men isn't being done by black men. It's being done by the invisible hand of white supremacy. But a lot of our women can't see this onslaught. And as a result of that, they buy into the mindset that says the reason you fail and I succeed is because I am more concerned about my future than you are. And nothing could be further from the truth. And the black man has to make sure we don't blame the black woman for her excess education or income. Let's use that strategically. If she's making the money, so be it. Pass that money off to us so we can build the institutions. It's not automatically a problem that you make more money than me. It's not automatically a problem that you have more education than me if we can still work together. But if you buy into the mindset of the dominant society as to the reasons why you're doing better than me, then it becomes a problem when you ingest the white supremacy Kool-Aid and start believing in the mythology of the black man based on his white supremacy. The Food and Drug Administration is a criminal operation. The Food and Drug Administration is responsible for determining which medicines and which foods are healthy for human consumption, drugs and food. And in America, there's a thin line between a drug and a food because a lot of the chemicals in food are drugs. So there's really no fine line there. But what they've done over the years is that they have manipulated the definition of what's considered natural, raw, and organic to the point now that you can buy something that has a 100% organic label on the back, but yet 40% of the contents of that product are not organic, are toxic, and are poison. So they're using the definitions. And what is the definition of power? It's the ability to do what? Define reality and make the victims accept it. This is organic. You buy into it, you accept it. This is freedom. You buy into it, you accept it. This is normal, healthy behavior. You buy into it, you accept it. We have to come up with our own definitions. You never accept the definitions of reality that the enemy gives you because any definition he gives you is designed to confuse you to your reality. See, confusion is the weapon of oppression. If I can get you to not understand what's happening, you will stand still until you find out. So you keep confusion going. That's exactly why the CIA brought drugs into the community back in the 60s and 70s to neutralize the black power struggle. They say if we disorganize the community, if we confuse it, they won't have time to fight us. They'll be too busy fighting each other. You see, for example, there's research out there that shows some of the black organizations in our community, these not-for-profits, 501s, not all of them, but some of them, were set up by the FBI to disrupt progressive organizational activities. So when you look in Portland, you probably got a handful of organizations getting funding who were set up by the FBI, and their job is to disrupt anything progressive. We got to recognize half the books written are written by the FBI. Half the magazines written are written by the FBI. Let me give you an example. We all know who David Duke is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Former Grand Wizard of the KKK, at least in the Southern Division. Do you know that David Duke used to write books on black power under the pen name of, I think it was Muhammad X. 
Yes, he used to write black power books under the pen name of Muhammad X. Why? Because if I teach you how to deal with me, I can always overcome you because I gave you the strategy. Military science, they are masters of it, and that's why they rule. They're not in charge because they're smarter. They're not in charge because they were birthed by God to rule us. They're in charge because they have mastered psychological science and political science. What our children digest goes to the brain. What the brain gets, it uses for power. And if it doesn't get the right nutrients, then obviously that can lead to all types of disabilities and things like that within the body. So we definitely have to improve the diet that our children are consuming. But I want to be clear, though. Changing the diet is for health. It's not going to stop the miseducation machine. A lot of people are under the influence that if you gave every black boy a vegan diet, that would stop the ADHD. No, because he's not being diagnosed with ADHD because he got a problem. He's being diagnosed with ADHD because she don't want to teach him. It has nothing to do with his diet, but we need to improve diet to maintain the health of our young